Lady Jane Grey, she was Queen of England and Ireland for only nine days and was executed for treason. Jane's mother was the niece of Henry VIII, King of England. And Jane was in the line of succession, but it was like fifth in line behind Henry's children. While Edward lay dying, he cut his sisters, Mary and Elizabeth, out of his will, and he left everything to Jane. Jane was married to Guilford Dudley, and his family was very advantageous. His dad immediately set things in motion for Jane and Guilford to be crowned, and so they went to the Tower of London to await a coronation. He wasn't about to have this shit happen and continue and so she rode at dawn for her throne she was accompanied by her sister elizabeth who later became elizabeth the first of england guildford and his family members were promptly executed but jane's life was spared initially this is actually her signature here you see jane the queen she did write an apology letter to mary she did say that, you know, she just loved her husband and none of this was her doing. And so her life was going to be spared. That's until Jane's dad decided, nope, we are going to rise up and we're going to do some extra shit. And so she was then again a threat to Mary's throne and she was promptly executed. During her execution, she could not find the block. Um, and she kind of scrambled to try to find it, to lay her head down on it, and they did have to help her. While she was looking for it, she she had stated, oh, will you, will you take it off about her head? Will you take it off before I lay me down? Unfortunately, she was only 16 years old, still very much a child by today's standards. And because she didn't have any brothers, she was incredibly well-educated and was considered one of the most educated women in Europe during this time. 